Well, there is a different storm brewing involving what's become a standard in school rankings. Parents use the U.S. News and World Report's annual ranking of the best schools in Oklahoma to decide where to send their kids to school possibly. Here's the problem. Most of Oklahoma schools have incomplete data. Take, for instance, Deer Creek schools here in the metro. This is where my kids attend. Two years ago, the district was ranked 12th. This year, they have dropped more than 100 points down to 134th. How did it happen? News Force Spencer Humphrey is asking that very question. It is a place where families and businesses moving into the state of Oklahoma look to see the quality of the schools in that particular district. That place Bixby Public School Superintendent Rob Miller is talking about is this website, where every year for decades now, U.S. News & World Report has published its list ranking the best high schools in Oklahoma. He, along with fellow superintendents from Jinx, Sand Springs, and Mustang Public Schools tell me that list is pretty influential. You don't just go to a public school, you go to a community because the community will embrace the school system, the school system embraces the community. Our chambers of commerce really work hard to increase the appeal of our communities for outside businesses and families. U.S. News released its rankings for 2024 this past week. If you look at just the top 20 ranked schools in Oklahoma this year, you'll notice 13 of them have fewer than 400 students. Something else, very, very few have an enrollment of more than 1,000 students like the schools in in those four superintendents districts. Using the internet Wayback Machine, I was able to find the top 20 ranked high schools from the 2022 list from U.S. News and World Report. I noticed numerous Oklahoma schools that were top 20 ranked in 2022 were nowhere near that in 2024. For instance, Bixby was number 16 in 2022, but now it's number 65. Jinx went from 19th that year to 64th this year. Tulsa Edison went from 8th to 86th. This year, Mustang ranks 168th. And get this, Deer Creek went from number 12 two years ago all the way to number 134 this year. It was very perplexing as to why we would see such a plunge in our score. I reached out to U.S. News to figure out what happened. They told me they look at several factors when they give each school its score and rank, like graduation rates, state testing scores, and college readiness. They say college readiness accounts for 30% of a school's overall score, the most of any factor. It gives schools a boost if they have more students enrolled in college-level AP classes and if they score well on AP tests. And in most of our larger suburban districts, that's a pretty significant population of students. U.S. News says they pulled that data from College Board, the national company in charge of AP curriculum and tests. But here's the problem. This year, U.S. News told me the state of Oklahoma, quote, did not grant U.S. News permission to use their school's AP data in the rankings. This means schools in Oklahoma that administered AP exams were not able to be fully credited on their college readiness. They said the same thing happened in 2023. In fact, the last year the Oklahoma State Department of Education allowed U.S. News to look at that data was 2022, the last year before State Superintendent Ryan Walters took over OSDE. The State Department deserves to or, or needs to give an answer because our communities deserve to know the rationale behind the decision to not release this data to the U.S. News. I reached out to an OSDE spokesperson with several questions. He said the Oklahoma State School Board did take a vote to allow U.S. News to access that data. Again, though, U.S. News says OSDE never ended up letting them use it. He also told me OSDE submitted the AP data to College Board and that if they never got it, it was likely a postal issue. I asked how that could explain the data also not being available in 2023. He didn't get back to me. There had to be a deliberate decision to do that because it appears that U.S. News made multiple attempts to get the data and eventually was just rebuffed and said, you're not getting it. Without answers, these school leaders are hoping minimally for some sort of footnote on this year's list. If there is something out there that could easily be corrected with the correct set of data or access to the data, I think that's a, that, that's a point that deserves to be heard. 
Uh, that's Spencer Humphrey reporting. If you go to the U.S. News website and you look at the rankings, you may notice the top two ranked schools this year are Classen School of Advanced Studies here in Oklahoma City and Booker T. Washington High School in Tulsa. We actually told you that earlier this week. Yeah, when you look at those two schools, though, they actually do have a college readiness score listed. So we asked U.S. News and World Report if the state doesn't give you access to their AP data this year, why did those schools have a college readiness score? U.S. News tells us it's because those two schools have international baccalaureate ORIB programs, and those programs individually submitted data to U.S. News. Like all other schools in the state, U.S. News says the state did not give them access to AP data for those two schools, so they got it elsewhere. Apparently. That might explain the monumental drop that many of our schools saw on that important nationwide ranking. Good work there by Spencer.